Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today. I learned WebGL series episode 94. This is part three looking at text, and we're going to be using the canvas object again to draw text, but then we're going to put that canvas object onto a texture and then draw that texture on an object. So this is kind of fun and a little bit different. So uh, as you've known before, our initializing textures now is done in this init textures and under our GL utils, and it does everything we need to. Um, and sets up the texture, and it's really nice, encapsulated. Uh, the only diff problem is that we're expecting a bunch of images and URLs for those and whatnot, and that might not be what you want. So in our case, we're going to be using a canvas object to write out some text dynamically. And uh, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So you have our, our original images here, just as before. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have another stage here called init canvas texture. I will show you that in just a moment, but realize that in the initializing canvas texture, what we're going to be doing is uh, could be done in something like GLUtils or more dynamically. I'm just doing it iteratively uh, to show you how easy it is to do. So this is just scrolling me past all the things, and here's the state. Um, what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to set the texture to canvas text. Obviously, canvas text was not in the or original. Uh, uh, list of textures, so we'll show you what that looks like in just a moment here. So here's what in this init canvas texture looks like. We're going to be doing the same kind of things that we're doing in GLUtils uh, for setting up the texture, as well as uh, setting all the parameters of the texture at the bottom, clamping, uh, linear, etc. But we're going to be giving it the uh, canvas object. So we're going to go ahead and create an, a, a canvas object dynamically. Um, it's going to be 256 by 256. Uh, as the order of two as normal, and make sure it's a 2D context. We're going to just set up the background color to be something kind of random here and fill it in. And then what we're going to do is set up the font of it. Uh, in this case, we're going to have uh, 36 pixels, bold, sans serif, uh, the fill style for the font, uh, the fact that it's going to be in the middle, uh, the color of it. Uh, and then offset for the shadow and blur. So this is the uh, shadow color. And then we're going to draw out programming TIL. And this is going to go right in the middle of our canvas object. As we're going to say, we're going to fill the canvas right in the middle with programming TIL. So we want to figure out the text width, though, to make sure that we can center this properly. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and change our a context to be white, and we're going to draw out my first name, David, and we're going to go ahead and put that above, so we're going to go up a little bit, and then we're going to go down a little bit for putting my last name, Parker. Remember, just like WebGL, the context is a state machine, so you have to update the context every time that you're going to be changing it to be something else, which is why we do this here. So what does that look like? Well, you can see down here we have this uh, cube that's been drawn and if we go ahead and zoom in a little bit, you can see we have programming TIL on here with my name above and below for my last name. So uh, you can draw out text based off canvas objects as textures, which is a really neat thing to do. So that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and share this video. Give it a like. Um, and uh, That'll help me out a lot. Find me on programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one. Thank you.